Hi, I'm Lewis. What's up, guys? Do you like pancakes? But seriously, welcome to The Lewis Show with me, the hostess, Lewis. Here we'll be talking about news on video games. And consoles. And some other random stuff that'll make you laugh. Seriously, anyone want some pancakes? I've already had 12. But in some real gaming news, any of you Blooms fans? If so, they just released an epic new co-op mode. With new maps, the co-op gameplay really adds a whole new perspective to the game. The host running, the left side of the screen, and his colleague on the right, communication, teamwork, and sharing money is key. Also, they have lots of forums, so if you have no one to play with, I'm sure you can find someone. And the best part is, it's just a new option on the home screen, not a new game entirely. So grab a friend! No, I already have a friend. Oh, and head over to the new beta website. For a glimpse of the future. <laughs> Actually, you can still play solo. I think you said that right. I'm lonely. One of you could invite me. I want to play co-op too. Also, for you Call of Duty fans, the voice actor of the all-famous Captain Price has cleared up some rumors about the speculated Modern Warfare 4. The wonderful voice actor of Captain Price was talking with a fan who had gotten confused with what was said about his upcoming meeting with Infinity Ward. The fan believed he had said something about voicing for Modern Warfare 4, but Captain Price cleared things up and announced he was in fact told the guy he was doing a special new Modern Warfare for China, not MW4. Just a simple confusion, but one that can easily be stirred with rumors. North Korea is still worrying about penis size. Just because the last three generations of your family can't fill the hole doesn't mean you have to bomb us. But really, for all of you worrying, apparently their missiles can't even leave the hangar. Psy? 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 Whatever his name is, he unveiled the Gangnam Style's successor, Gentleman. But in real music news... Well, this isn't real music news, but Justin Bieber's Norway tour prompts school to reschedule midterms. SERIOUSLY?! Like, I'm a Canadian, and I support him in a sense of he's a Canadian, he's just doing well. You go, girl! But Norway? Rescheduling midterms for his concert? That's just absurd. I get that kids, teens, and girls are all going to go insane and forget about reality and ditch studying for it, but that's their bad decision. Norway? We have to talk. Don't support their bad behaviors. Love you, beebs. Lol, JK. Zeppelin! Alright. Well, that's it for this, gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed the first of many to come Lewis shows. And if you did, be sure to let us know in the comment section BELOW! If you disagree with any of the opinions stated in this video, then feel free to voice your opinion in the comments for Lewis to properly correct you on your backwards ways. We're watching you. So we would like to thank you all. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we'd like to thank you all for watching the first installment of the Lewis Show, and uh, of course, there's going to be many to come. But we'd like to give a special shout out to Lewis for being how beautiful he is. He's advertising his poultry T-shirt, and uh, special thanks to Bradley for helping us in this episode. By